we're trying to find the best slice in town, and it's taking us to the Pizza Rooney bus. I've never had pizza on a school bus before. Hmm. Yeah, it seems kind of odd. Hopefully, it's good. <laughs> Welcome to the Pizza Rooney bus. May I take your order, please? Uh, one large cheese pizza, please? Oh, make that two, please. Oh, but mine was extra pepperoni. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey. Anyone in there? Hello? Hey, please refrain from pounding on the school bus. It's very upsetting to the pizzas. Jimmy, what are you doing here? I guess you didn't hear. This is my new pizza food truck. I converted the school bus into the Pizza Rooney mega truck. It's totally awesome. <laughs> and I only thought Jimmy knew how to make a bowl of cereal. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's real funny. Huh? You know something? No pizza for you, and no pizza for you either. Your order is officially canceled. Have a nice day. Hey, Jimmy. Well, you know what? I'm just going to write a mean review about you and your angry pizza bus. Yeah, oh. you're gonna get roasted on Pizza Advisor. You're going Let's go, down. Casey. You're going you don't down. You stand a chance. Hey, Paisanos, you caught me in the middle of making one of my Chef Jimmy pizza spectaculars. And now that those two rude customers have been taken care of, I'm gonna share with you my secret recipe. If you want me to show you how it's done, give me a big thumbs up. Spin a Rooney. Open the jar of sauce. Pour it into the bowl. Lots and lots of hot sauce. Scoop it on the sauce. Cheese, 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 and more cheese. Now it looks like this baby is ready for the oven. All we gotta do is pop it on in, and then once it's done, it's ready for the pizza box, and soon enough, ready for another satisfied customer's tummy. That is, unless they're mean to me. In which case, no pizza for you. How on earth did Jimmy get his own pizza shop? I know, who wants to eat at a place where the owner yells at his customers, no pizza for you? Mmm, <laughs> I must say, Jimmy, this pizza's delicious. But it's a little hot. Do you think you can make it less spicy next time? No can do, Coach Alino. On the Pizza Rooney bus, we only make our pizza one way, Jimmy style. That way it's easier and more oh, delicious. Would you look who it is, Jimmy the angry pizza maker. What, run out of customers to be mean to? Yeah, Jimmy, don't you have a pizza shop to be running inside of a silly little bus? <laughs> Oh, LOL, you two. But FY, your information, the Pizza Rooney bus is closed for the day. But if you want to come back tomorrow and follow the rules this time, maybe, just maybe, I'll give you a taste. Wait a second. The pizza bus is closed for the day? Hey, Coach Rocco, I have a business proposal for you. How about you let me and Casey here open up a shop in the food bus? Ooh, um, oh, an ice cream parlor. Yes, ice cream parlor. Yes. No way. Everyone knows that the Pizza Rooney bus is for pizza only, not silly old ice cream. You tell them, coach. Well, that sounds like a really good idea. I need something to cool off after Jimmy's spicy pizza. Yes, <laughs> you won't regret this, coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope your ice cream is better than your handshakes. Shakes? They got shakes! What? No. Okay, Casey, so here's the plan. You're going to be making the ice cream, and I'll take the customer's orders. Well, will really, I have to make the ice cream? Oh, no, Ellie, I, I don't know if I can do that. What if they want something really complicated and not know how to make it? Oh, no, and then what if I use the wrong flavor and they're going to be so mad at me? Ellie, I can't do that. Um, okay, then maybe I'll make the ice cream, and then you can take the orders. Okay, but what if they start asking me a million questions and I don't know how to answer them and then they're gonna get even more mad at me. Oh, Ellie, I don't know if I can do that either. <gasps> oh no, the first customer is here. Is it too late to close? Okay, calm down, Casey. Pull yourself together. You're going to make the ice cream and it's gonna be great. I'll take the customer's orders right now. Just calm down and relax. It'll be smooth sailing. Okay. <laughs> We got this. Well, we're here. E&C sweet treats. <sighs> A little tacky, if you ask me. 
Welcome to ENC Sweet Treats. What can I get ya? Um, actually, I'd like to speak with your manager, please, and ask why it took us so long to get served. It's been nearly 12 seconds. Coach, I hope you're writing this down. Oh, never mind him, Ellie. I love what you've done with the place. And I especially love that you have all the flavors on this app here. Really high tech. Yeah, we want to make our customer experience super, super flawless. In fact, we even made your favorite flavor, Coach, Coffee Rum Raisin. You read my mind. I'll have a scoop in a cup, please. Alrighty, one scoop of Coffee Rum Raisin in a cup. And what would you like, Jimmy? Well, I'll try to keep this simple. When a place is run by noobs, you don't want to get too complicated. A single scoop of vanilla ice cream, please. Thank you very much. A single scoop of vanilla ice cream in a cone, I'm guessing. A cone, that's correct. <laughs> All right, be right back with your orders. No, oh, I don't even want to know what the first order is. Just tell me, Ellie. Just break it to me. Easy. It's actually super easy. It's one scoop of coffee rum raisin in a cup for Coach Rocco and one scoop of vanilla in a cone for Jimmy. Huh. Wait, that's it? Wow. I'm surprised Jimmy's taking it so easy on me. <laughs> I'll be right back for the order. Okay. Um, okay, Casey, you got this. I can do this. Easy. Got my cup here. Got my trusty scooper. And my rum raisin. All right. One scoop for Coach Rocco. Ah. Oh. Hey, that was pretty easy. I'm like a pro at this now. <laughs> Let's just give him two. Ah. All right, Coach Rocco's order is ready. Awesome, Casey. You did a great job. Thanks, Ellie. I'm sure he'll love this. <laughs> 47 seconds already? What's taking so long? All right, got one scoop of coffee rum raisin right there. There you go, Coach. Yum, looks delicious. And your vanilla cone is coming right out, Jimmy. A vanilla <laughs> cone? Did I say I wanted a vanilla cone? There must have been a miscommunication. What I actually want is a chocolate and vanilla sundae with fudgy swirls. Ooh, and maybe some whipped cream, too. And sprinkles. I know it's a little bit more complicated, but as your co-owner would say, the customer is always right. Mmm, you are so right, Jimmy. Okay, one vanilla chocolate swirl fudge sundae coming right up. <laughs> she better not forget the whipped cream. All right. <laughs> oh, Ellie, perfect timing. I just finished Jimmy's ice cream cone. <laughs> okay, Casey, don't panic or anything, but Jimmy's order might have changed around just a tiny little bit. <laughs> what on earth? Ellie, there's like a million ingredients in this. How am I supposed to make this thing? Okay, but it's not actually that complicated. Mm. We need chocolate ice cream. We have mm. that. Vanilla ice cream. Ooh, still have his original cone right here. Yep, and then all we have to add is chocolate fudge, okay. mm, sprinkles, and whoops cream. All in a cup. Okay. You know, you're right, Ellie. I think I can do this. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> All right, Ellie, order up. <laughs> Perfect, this looks so yummy, Casey. Jimmy better like it. This ice cream is delicious. Wait till you taste yours. Coach Rocco, I ordered the most complicated item on the menu. They're definitely going to make a mistake. And when they do, you'll be forced to name me the rightful winner of this challenge. The Pizza Rooney food truck will reign supreme. Sweet victory awaits. All right, Jimmy, here's your chocolate and vanilla fudge swirl sundae. Made to perfection. Hmm, perfection, eh? We'll just see about that. All right, looks like you got the chocolate, you got the vanilla, the whipped cream, sprinkles, mm, nice touch. Okay, so you got all the ingredients right, I'll give you that. But the most important part is the taste. Coach Rocco, I would stand aside. This isn't gonna be pretty. Take a bite, I dare you. Ew, ew, this tastes like really good. Huh. That tastes kind of delicious, actually. That's some of the fudgiest fudge I've ever eaten. How did you get the fudge to be so fudgy? Okay, so the key is you want to wrap the sundae in the fudge, kind of like a present, and then just put a whole bunch on top, just because. <laughs> All right, I've made my decision. After much deliberation, I've decided that both the ice cream and the pizza are equally delicious, so it's a tie. What? No winner? So then who gets to use the school bus? 
Well, on outside of school days, you can both serve ice cream and pizza on there. What do you say? I mean, that sounds pretty good, actually. What do you think, Jimmy? Well, I guess I really wouldn't want to choose between ice cream and pizza either, so it's a deal. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I have an idea. What if you put a scoop of ice cream on top of the pizza? You get the salt and the savory and the sweet, mm. huh? Imagine He's had mint sugar chocolate today. chip. No, with the anchovies, it'll be delicious. Oh, I could taste it right now. Mmm. Put some pineapple on there and some cheese, tomato. All right, whatever. Casey, Kelly, I saved you a seat. Hey, did you download the new macaroni blaster on your phone? No, I tried to, but I couldn't get the game on this. Oh, man. My phone is kind of old, and I'm not getting a new one until Christmas. You have to try it, though. The whole school's playing. But, but that's OK. You can use my phone. Nice. Thanks. Uh -huh. Where is that Jimmy? Have either of you talked to him today? No, nope, not today. Oh, the macaroni's mm -hmm. Jimmy to the bus! Jimmy to the bus! You got less than one minute and then we're leaving without you! I'm coming! Hold on! I'm coming! Five, four, three... <gasps> Made it! And with time to spare! So question, if hypothetically I was to miss the bus, does that mean I would get to stay home and play video games all day? Have a seat, Jimmy. Hmm. <sighs> hey, Ellie. Casey. Happy first day of school. Barf. Uh, but on the bright side, at least we get to play Macaroni Blaster at recess. Oh my gosh, is everyone playing this except me? Oh, hey, Jimmy, what level did you get up to? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but I made it up to level 87 yesterday. Yep, looks like I'm the best player in the school. <laughs> level 87? <laughs> what a noob. Last night, I got up to level 96. <laughs> Read it in weeks. 96? Oh, no way. Macaroni blast off right now. Oh, you are so on. Ready, set, go. I'm never going to catch up at this point. Yuck, why is my phone so old? What am I going to do when the whole class is playing Macaroni Blaster? Except me. Blast, blast. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. Your phone's not that old. Yeah, I'm sure in a couple weeks your app store will have it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Ellie, look at that. We have the same kind of phone. We're phone twins. Mm. Uh, could you teach me how to do one of those texts? Uh, Co Coach Rocco, not such a good idea. Oh, I can't show up to class with this old phone, everyone. I can't go to school today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ellie, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, great going, Coach Rocco. You just had to do the phone twins thing. But I thought phone twins was... Lit. It's just not what she wants to hear right now. All right, everyone, if you want to help us get Ellie back for the first day of school, give us a big thumbs up. I'm going to find her first. No, I'm your wife. Hey, get back here, Jimmy. I, I always thought phone twins was groovy. Can you dig it? Ellie! Oh, come on, Ellie, come on out. We were just kidding about Macaroni Blaster. It's not that amazingly fun. Yeah, and honestly, I've beat Ginny so many times at this point, I'm pretty much over it. You can beat me. You've never beaten me once beat at Macaroni Blaster. Beat me like Blaster. five times this morning. My score's way more. Like, you know what? <laughs> we are just going to have to have another blast off later. For now, we have to focus on finding Ellie. All right, you're right. OK, I'm going to look for Ellie here by the pool. And you can look for her wherever. I don't care. Over there. Fine. Oh, so you get to go look by the pool. How convenient. Huh. Well, I'm going to find her first. Wait a minute. What do we have here? Two tents. Ha! Jackpot. I'm so going to find Ellie first. Ellie, I know you're in there. It's just a matter of which one. Oh, got it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. Ellie needs a new phone, and you are here. Ha! Ready or not, here comes Casey. Oh, come on, Ellie, where are you? I'll let you play an extra round of Pizza Blaster on my phone. Oh. Hello? Oh, hey, Casey, this is Jimmy. Casey didn't know. Uh, I'm at the pool, by the way, and I'm thinking about doing some underwater spinneroonies. Jimmy, I told you not to get in the pool! We're supposed to be looking for Ellie. 
Oh yeah, about that. Uh, well, if you don't want to go to the pool with me, I guess I'll just jump in all by myself. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you are so done when I find you. Owie. Did you go in for a dip? Oh, glad to see you are having so much fun while I'm looking all over the place for Ellie. What do you mean? I'm looking for her too. Oh yeah, so doing underwater spin-a-roonies counts as looking for Ellie? <laughs> you are so hilarious. Underwater spin-a-roonies? Great idea. But no, I wasn't swimming. Do I even look wet to you? But you just had your face in the water. Well, I wasn't actually swimming. I was just looking at you. That know, still counts as getting in the pool. I told I you not to do so. that. I, We're supposed I, to are you really two amazing. squabbling again? Aren't you supposed to be looking for Ellie? I was looking for Ellie, but then Casey came in talking about underwater spinneroonies, which I'm totally going to try, by oh, the way. Da, da, da. Underwater spinneroonies was my idea, so I get to try it first. Oh, after we find Ellie. Well, if you're looking for Ellie, she's over there running away. Come on! All this searching for Ellie's making me hungry. Phew! They won't suspect me in here. Finally, I get some time to relax and think about my next plan. Oh, can't run away forever. Coach Rocco! Coach! Oh no! Jimmy and Casey are here! How do they find me? Think, Ellie, think! What do I do? What do I do? Hey, come out, Coach. We have a question. Yeah, can you settle this for us? <sighs> coach, can you open up? We need you to settle something. Coach, can you come out here and please tell Casey that I have won the spookiest Halloween costume four years in a row? You were a baby butterfly last Halloween. How on earth is that supposed to be scary? I was not a butterfly. I was a vampire. Coach, get out here. Oh, well, howdy there, kids. I was just cleaning the bus in there. You sure do know how to leave a big mess behind. <laughs> uh, Coach, you look a little weird. Stop changing the subject, Casey. Coach, can you please tell Casey that I was a spooky vampire for Halloween last year? A uh, vampire? I thought you were a fluttering baby butterfly. Ha <laughs> ha see? I told you. I give up. <laughs> I guess nobody knows what a vampire looks like anymore in this crazy, crazy world. You know, with the fangs and the tape and the spooky makeup. Oh, hey, Coach, have you seen Ellie anywhere? We've been looking everywhere. Oh, uh, Ellie? No, no, I haven't seen her at all. Um, But, uh, oh, I have a perfect idea. In order to get Ellie back, we've got to clean the bus. Clean the bus? How is cleaning going to help us get Ellie back? Well, well, of, of course, who could resist a spotless bus? As soon as we scrub this baby clean, she won't be able to resist coming back here and going back to school. Oh, man, a scrubbing contest? I am so in. You're going down, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, ready, set, go. You're on. <laughs> ah, Coach Rocco. Coach Rocco? Coach Rocco? But... I'm Coach Rocco. There's two Coach Roccos? Don't tell me there's two Jimmies, too. Okay, fine, you got me. <sighs> it's me, Ellie. Ellie Sparkles. Now, why have you been hiding all this time? And why don't you want to go to school? That's not like you. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. It's just I'm embarrassed to be the only person at school without the newest and coolest phone. And everyone at recess is going to be playing macaroni blaster while I'm just going to be standing there doing nothing. Everyone will think that I'm super weird. Weird? <laughs> Ellie Sparkles weird? Now, I could be a little weird, but you? No, you're funny, yes. Smart, yes. You're good at gym, yes. But weird? Nope. You really think so? I know so. 
And I also know that your friends are not gonna like you less because of the type of phone you have. I mean, do you like Jimmy for the type of sneakers he has? No, I mean, I've never even seen Jimmy's sneakers. I like Jimmy because he's, well, Jimmy. I know, exactly. You know what? That makes total sense, Coach. You're so right. <laughs> so what do you say we hop on the bus and start the day all over again? You know what, let's do this. First day of school, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, you're back and just in time to see me win the scrubbing contest. Oh, no way. Jimmy, look, your basketball's rolling away. <laughs> oh, I've been duped. <laughs> we ready to go to school, you guys? <laughs> yes, give us like 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> I gotta beat Jimmy. Gotta first. get those hard to reach places. <laughs> oh, come on, get on the bus. We gotta go. We're gonna be late. All aboard. What's up, Sparkle Squad? Today is the first day of school. That means I'm super excited to get started with another school year. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Speak for yourself. I can't believe summer's over already. Farewell, sweet, warm, glorious, sunny summer. Hey there, Ellie. Hey there, Jimmy. Hey, don't bother catching the bus today. I think we're gonna stay active and walk to school every morning. Walk to school? Oh, how could this get any worse? I can't believe summer's over already. Hey, don't worry about it, Jimmy. Just think of all the fun we'll be having in school, like seeing our old friends and meeting new ones. Oh, I'm gonna miss the swimming pool so much. Well, what about all the fun we'll have in gym class and recess? Come on, that's fun. Not as much fun as having a water balloon fight or drinking some lemonade. Oh, and day you get to do all the tests and the quizzes. That's fun too, right? Ah, I can't take it anymore. Summer can't be over, not yet. Question, what day does summer officially end? The last day of summer is September 20th and the first day of autumn is September 21st. Perfect. Ellie, could you do me a favor and just uh, hold this for a second? You see, if summer isn't technically over until September 20th, then Jimmy isn't starting school until September 20th either. That's right, I'm gonna have some more summer fun. I'll just go ahead and uh, take that. Hey everyone, Jimmy's summer fun continues. That's right, tell everyone at school that I won't be back until after September 20th, when summer's officially over. See you on the 21st, Wee! Let me get this straight. You're saying to catch Jimmy, we gotta think like Jimmy. Exactly. That's why I built this lemonade stand. Lemonade is Jimmy's favorite summer drink. Once he comes over for a cup, we'll reveal our disguises and bring him back to school. Oh, brilliant idea! <laughs> now, what should we call this lemonade stand? Rocco and Ellie's lemonade? No, we can't know that it's really us, remember? We have to pick names that are completely different from our real ones. Just follow my lead. I think I hear him now. What's up, Jim Aroonies? Just when you thought the summer was over, Jimmy's bringing it back. From now on, it's gonna be nothing besides water slides, water balloon fights, and swimming pools all day long. Lemonade, get your lemonade here. Lemonade, my summertime favorite. Hey, you two, you got yourself a customer. Ooh, a nice cold glass of lemonade would really hit the spot. Hey, you two, what's the name of your lemonade stand? Oh, I am, I am glad you asked. We are called... Uh, Sacco's, uh, Chef Sacco's Lemonade Stand. Oh. <laughs> Chef Sacco's Lemonade, huh? That name sounds familiar. Eh, maybe not. All right, I'll take a glass of your coldest lemonade. Oh, uh, one glass of lemonade coming right up. <laughs> oh, good choice, monsieur. Uh, if you are finished with your lemonade, maybe you would like to go see where we make it in the cafeteria of the road. <laughs> well, one cold glass for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And I would like to propose a toast to summer. May it never end. Ew. What is this? A mustache? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, those pesky mustaches, they're all over the place. Here, sir, I'm so sorry, let me replace that for you. Mustache free, of course. <laughs> Wait a second. Coach Rocco, Ellie, I already told you, I'm not going back to school until after September 20th, once summer officially ends. So you can just knock off all these plans to try to get me back. Oh. Jimmy, wait! 
Jimmy may have gotten away last time, but this time our plan is foolproof. Let me show you. Me and Coach Rocco have made a trail of all of Jimmy's favorite summer toys. <laughs> and they all lead to this giant hamster ball. And can you guess what's inside the hamster ball? Jimmy's favorite water blaster. <laughs> he won't be able to resist that. And when he goes inside to get it, we'll zip it up and we've caught him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I think I hear him now. Come on, I'm tight. <laughs> The summer of Jimmy continues. What should I do next? So many possibilities. I could go camping or maybe go on the water slide and... Hey, look! It's my basketball. I've been looking all over for that. Oh, wait. Timmy the T-Rex. Oh, this is one of my favorite summer toys, too. And my Frisbee? Wow! All my toys are laid out for me. Now all that I'm missing is my... Water Blaster! I've been looking everywhere for this thing. How did it get inside this giant hamster ball? Huh, guess I just gotta go inside and get it, and then it's water blaster time for Jimmy. <laughs> gotcha! All right, now we just gotta pump this baby up and roll him back to school. Coach <laughs> Rocco, Ellie, was this your plan the whole time? Come on, Jimmy, quit playing around. We gotta roll you back to school. Yep, we just gotta pump this up and roll him away. <laughs> All right, just one more pump. All right, good as new. Awesome. Let's get rolling. We have to hurry if we're gonna make it to school on time. Now, which way is it? Come on, Jimmy. Uh, where are we? Uh, let, let me look up the directions on my phone. <laughs> look at this flip action here. <laughs> I've had this baby for 15 years and it hasn't let me down yet. Now I just have to figure out where the apps are and maybe it'll give us a map. I haven't seen a phone that old in forever. I don't think it has any apps. Uh, wait a second. I've got an idea. Freedom! The summer of Jimmy's not over yet. Can't catch me. Time for some more summer fun. perfect summer day is complete without a little action in the pool. Isn't that right, Mr. Floaty? Everyone else thought that summer was over, but this is the life. Hey, a pool skimmer? How did that get in there? Oh no, Coach Rocco and Ellie. Get it up, Jimmy. He can't run anywhere now. Time to go to school. Well, I may not be able to run, but I can still swim, and Jimmy's the fastest swimmer in the whole school, so good luck catching me. Oh, oh. oh. Come on, let's get him. Oh, hold on, Coach. You know, I'm getting pretty tired of chasing Jimmy around. And if we don't leave now, we're gonna be late for school for sure. Okay, Jimmy, you win. <laughs> yes, Jimmy wins again. Nice try, guys, but nothing stopped Jimmy. Although I gotta say, Ellie, you did do a pretty good job trying to get me this time. Okay, I guess I'll see you after school, Jimmy. It's just a shame that you're gonna have to miss out on all the fun at school. <sighs> fun? At school? What, what kind of fun are you talking about? Let's see, there's sports in gym class, seeing all our friends, meeting all the new teachers, having a big back to school lunch. Oh, and recess, ah, oh, wow, there's so many things to look forward to. But I guess I'll just see you later. Huh, I guess I do kind of miss my friends and playing basketball in the school gym. Hey, wait a second, does the cafeteria still serve tacos on Tuesday? Yep, it is Taco Tuesday, but I guess I'll just have to miss it. <laughs> See you after school, Jimmy. Bye! This was supposed to be the summer of Jimmy, but I can't miss Taco Tuesday. Hold on, guys. I'm coming with you. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, let's get you out of the pool. Can you help me out, Coach? Yes, now come on. Stop. Coach, pull! Help me! Help me! Help! Ah! 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 
go pet. I'm a professional doggy paddler. Now I learned this in school, Jimmy, so you should go too. You learn, look at this, look at these moves. Huh? He's gonna make us late for school. It's yeah. very efficient. 